Hello and welcome. In this video or other video series, we are constructing a cryptocurrency trading board with Python using very interesting and important concepts. In this part, we are covering a dry run implementing a trading stop loss mechanism within a crypto life price data stream without executing any real orders. In part two, we are taking a look at another very interesting concept, which is the trailing target profit. Slightly more challenging both to understand and code in Python. And finally, in the last part, we are constructing the trading bot using a certain buying signal and incorporate the trading stop loss or trading target profits. So let's understand trailing stop losses, which enable to reduce your risk, but also making it possible to profit from price gains. So let's take a look at a simple example. You are buying the asset for 100 US dollar. The benchmark for setting the stop loss is therefore the current price level, 100 US dollar. The amount of loss you are able to take is 5%. So in this case, you are selling once the asset is worth 95 US dollar. Or in other words, you are selling once the price is below the current stop loss level. Now, if the asset is increasing to 120 US dollar, the new benchmark is 120 and the stop loss now is 114, which is 95% of 120. In this case, Nothing is happening as the new price is above the stop loss limit. Now let's take a look at the next row. The asset is dropping to 110 US dollar. Now the benchmark is still 120 as the highest price is always the new benchmark. The stop loss is therefore still 114 and 114 is above the current price. So the stop loss order is being triggered and you are selling the asset. In summary, you were making the deal of taking a maximum loss of 5%, but you ended up with a profit as the stop loss was adapting to new price levels. It is important that you understand this part to better follow along in the coding part. Important disclaimer, cryptocurrency and in specific automated trading is bearing a huge amount of risk and may result in the total loss of your invested capital. Cryptocurrencies are not regulated. Also, concepts shown in this video are not an investment advice. The video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, let's get started. For the live price data stream, I'm working with the Unicorn Binance WebSocket API library. So make sure you've installed it beforehand, typing in pip install unicorn minus Binance minus WebSocket minus API. Next, we are connecting to Binance I'm simply taking the syntax from the official documentation, which I will link in the video description. And we're using this UBWA to create a stream. And here we have to define which stream do we want. And I'm working with the one minute candlestick data here. So this is K line one minute. Next, we have to define the symbol. So I'm just taking Bitcoin, what you, but you can take whatever you like here, right? and I'm using output equals unicorn phi. This is simply just, yeah, amending the stream output to a more readable format. With that, we have created the stream and now we can pull data from the stream. Just doing that in an endless loop here. Define data as UBWA, pop stream data from stream buffer. Just copy pasting that here. And after that, I'm checking, did I really receive data? So I'm checking if data is true or if data contains anything, then I wanna print out data. So if we are doing that, you will see that we are getting a live stream here. So we are getting every second or every new tick from the server, we are getting new data, right? So let's take a look at that. Uh, we're getting some information here in a dictionary type format. So this is the stream name, Bitcoin for the one minute candlestick uh, data. Then you see stuff like the event time and a Unix time format. What's relevant for us is the close price here, right? Because this is the live closing price of that um, very granular data. So you see the close price uh, on this tick is this price, next tick is this price. And you see that this is the value um, which is representing the live price. So you see how much we're getting. So you see this one here 
and next one is this one here, right? So this is the relevant price we are taking for the live price. Okay, so we are, when connecting to the stream, we are getting some data which is not this dictionary and we are not interested in that data. For example, this one here. And we just want to filter uh, answers from the server like this out here. So I'm simply taking um, if data and also the length of the data is larger than uh, three. With that, we are just simply filtering out, um, yeah, unnecessary data, which is just causing problems for us. So let's stop the script, create the stream again, and uh, execute that again. And now we are only getting those dictionaries here every second, right? And as I just said, we are only interested in the uh, live price or close price of this one second candle here. We wanna just print out the live price. So we can just define live price. And as you see, this dictionary contains another dictionary, K line. And here you see we have the close price, which we wanna access. So we are taking the data. This is the first dictionary. So we are screening for this value K line. And then we are screening for the close price, which is in this K line dictionary. This is this value here close price. All right. And as you see, this is a string formatted value. We want to typecast that to a floating value here. All right. And with that, we can just print the live price. And now let's stop that, create the stream again and execute that again. Now you'll see we're just getting the live updating price for Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you filled in here, right? Pretty cool so far, right? And next we are going to implement our trailing stop loss logic to that live stream. So what's important here now is to define, let's stop that for now, define an initial buy price, right? So I'm not as said, it's just a dry run. I'm just assuming a certain buy price. Let's just say we just uh, bought the asset for this price, 19,817, uh, right? So I'm just defining that here and I'm setting the benchmark now to my buy price as I did in uh, the explanation of a trailing stop loss, right? So my benchmark is my buy price, okay? So here I have to define now if my life price now is larger than my benchmark, then I want to amend my benchmark to my life price as I did in the introductory example in this table, right? So I'm setting my benchmark to the new life price whenever the life price is larger than the benchmark. Okay, so we also want to get a feedback here. So our current benchmark uh, should be our benchmark uh, as a string. Otherwise, the print wouldn't work here. Okay, and after that, we can define our trailing stop loss, which is simply our benchmark times zero point. Let's, let's take a stop loss limit of uh, 2%. I know I was using 5% in the beginning, but for now let's take 2%. All right. So we can print now current trailing stop loss and provide the TSL here. All right. And yeah, let's also print out a line here that we know that we are getting a new data point here. So that should be fine for our trailing stop loss. So let's take a look at the output together. So I'm just stopping the script and connect to the stream again. Set my buy price somewhere 
at the current price now and then I'm executing that. And now let's take a look at that. So this is the live price here. We have a benchmark and you see now as the price was dropping since we bought, we're not getting new trading stop loss levels here, right? Our trading stop loss would only amend if our price was rising here, right? But I actually want to show you this. Um, so I'm going to amend the buy price to somewhere around the new level in hopes that it is rising so that I can show you how it would look like. So let's just set the buy price here to this. Connect to the stream again. And let's amend that to current live price. And see what we got. Okay, nice. Now you see the current live price. So our benchmark is 19 806 our initial benchmark right and here you see that the current live price is above this benchmark and you see that the benchmark is adapting and the current trading stop loss is also adapting and this is nice to see now you see that the price is further increasing the benchmark therefore is also increasing and the trailing stop loss is also increasing here right and here it is even going further and now I want to have a situation where it's drop, dropping. Yeah, here it is dropping and you see that the trailing stop loss is not changing. It is only only changing when the uh, coin is rising, right? And you're getting this uh, live here and you can quite nicely take a look now how the, the trailing stop loss um, is, is moving um, related to the coin. Now, finally, of course, we have to implement something like if my life price now is below my trailing stop loss, then I want to sell, right? So in the last video or um, in the final going live with the bot, we are, of course, placing a selling order instead of print sell here, right? But this is how the uh, dry run would look like. So yeah, this is our final uh, version here. And yeah, that's it for this video actually. So next video, we are taking a look at the trailing target profit. Also very interesting, as said, slightly more challenging. So um, you can test it for yourself until the video is released to play a bit around with that. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.